Oh my god. What is that? Oh no. Something's coming. It's, it's nearly here. It sounds like... It sounds like... The Big Batch TM! That's right, everybody. We finally have some info about what exactly the Big Patch TM is, and is it as big as the name suggests? Uh, kind of. So let's uh, let's dive right in. But before we do, just a heads up: I'm only going to be talking about the Battle Right Royale portion of the Big Patch because that's the version of the game I personally enjoy a little bit more. But if you want the details on the changes coming to the arena, there will be links in the description to everything I'm going to talk about. That being said. Let's see what this big patch TM is bringing to the table. Some pretty cool changes are coming to the map. We're getting two entirely new locations added to the map. The frozen plateau to the northwest, so somewhere over here, here possibly, and the trader's isle to the southeast, so somewhere along this area. We only have an image of the frozen plateau so far, but it looks pretty awesome if you ask me definitely stands apart from the other areas of the map, which is always a good thing. They are also changing up some of the existing areas of the map, like Greyheart Pass and Abandoned Mines, which are now going to be combined to create one large mining town. Anvil Fall and Okenheim Village are apparently getting significant layout reworks. Crumbling Keep has crumbled even further, revealing new passages. There will also be an additional chamber in Ancient Tomb, the coolest change coming to the map though is that there will now be regional objects that players can interact with. The examples they give is that there will be icicles in the colder areas that will create ice patches on the ground when destroyed, and rocks near the mines that can be attacked to acquire throwable rocks. I love both of those ideas. I think it's a great idea that the map itself will now play a part in the flow of combat and will add another layer onto every battle. The next big change coming is that at long last, the final three arena characters are coming to Royale. This means that Older, Taya, and Pearl will all be playable in Royale mode. And once those three are in Royale, that means the Stunlock team can solely focus on creating new champs going forward, which is always a good thing. More champs, the better. And the last big change coming is the addition of a battle pass. Yep, a battle pass. Now, I'm personally not a fan of battle passes, and I don't think too many people are nowadays, but whether we wanted it or not, here it comes. With the battle pass come new skins, avatars, boosts, emotes, chests, a new toad mount, and a brand new type of cosmetic, pets. I can live with all the other items and such being put into the game, but pets? Come on, really? I'm just gonna say it, I think these look kind of stupid and unnecessary in my opinion. All it is is a little pet like a cat or a pig that follows you around, that's it. When I'm in a heated 2v2 battle with another team, I don't need a bunch of little animals running around the screen distracting me. This addition just feels kind of out of place and like I said unnecessary in my opinion. If you want to see the specific rewards for the entire battle pass itself, and the new mount variations, there will be a link down in the description for you to check out those as well. For those of you not interested in picking up the battle pass, there will also be a free pass with a few rewards you can pick up at no cost to you. Not the coolest rewards available in the free pass, but it's better than nothing I suppose. And that's everything coming in the big patch TM that we know of so far. Overall, I think there are a lot of good changes coming with the map that I'm excited for, and I'm excited to see how Old Artea and Pearl play out in Royale mode. I'd love to know what you guys think, though, about the changes coming to the map, and if you think you're going to grab the Battle Pass or not. Also, let me know your thoughts on the addition of pets. Are they stupid? Or are they stupid? Let me know. Dropping a like on this video is always appreciated, and if you're feeling spicy, hit that subscribe button for me, too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.